What is going on everybody? Today I'll be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for Texas State. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win and I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But before we preview their schedule, let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football then you will love this channel because we upload daily college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel so definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Last season, Texas State finished with an 8-5 record. They were a solid team, but their defense was a big concern, and one of their losses actually came to Arkansas State in which they gave up 77 points. But heading into next season, I expect this team to be really good on the offensive side again. And even if they have a bad defense, I still think that they will be solid next season. They did have a big quarterback problem for a while because they had two top quarterbacks transfer out for them. But they did pick up a quarterback, and I think it will probably be an upgrade from any of the other quarterbacks that they could have got out of the transfer portal, because they got former James Madison quarterback Jordan McLeod, who threw for 3,657 yards, 35 touchdowns, and a completion percentage of 68.2 last season. Jordan McLeod is a huge addition for this Texas State team at quarterback, and I expect this team to put up numbers with Jordan McLeod at quarterback, because Jordan McLeod is probably one of the best group of five quarterbacks in the country. And Texas State also has the number one transfer portal group in the Sun Belt Conference, and they brought in some key defensive additions, so we'll see if the defense gets better next season. But anyways, let's get into predicting their schedule, and they open the season playing at home against Lamar. This is the cupcake game on the schedule for Texas State. Lamar is an FCS team, and they couldn't even beat UO Monroe last season. There's nothing much to say about this game. Texas State could score 80 points, and I wouldn't be surprised. But I definitely have Texas State winning this game and moving to 1-0 on the season. The next game on the schedule for Texas State is at home against UTSA. This will be a decent early season test for Texas State. UTSA is always a solid group of five team. They have won nine plus games in the past three seasons, but next season could be a bit of a step down for UTSA in my opinion because they rank 111th in the country for return and production. They lose their quarterback and a bunch of other talent. I do still expect them to be a solid team. Transfer portal receiver DJ Allen could be a great addition. But I do think this game is very winnable for Texas State. UTSA beat Texas State by 7 points last season, but I have Texas State getting their revenge and beating UTSA in 2024. And I do have Texas State moving to 2-0 on the season. But I do think this will definitely be a close game. The next game for Texas State will be at home against Arizona State. This could be another game that could go absolutely either way. I do think Kenny Dillingham has Arizona State heading in the right direction, even if it takes a couple of years to get to where they want to be. I do not expect Arizona State to be great next season, but they could be more competitive next season, and they have done a very good job in the transfer portal, and they are having a complete roster overhaul, so there will be a bunch of new players next season for Arizona State. I do think Texas State will lose a tough game at home against Arizona State, so I have Texas State moving to 2-1 on the season. The next game for Texas State is a neutral side game against Sam Houston. Sam Houston went 3-9 last season, and their offense really held them back in 2023. I do not expect Sam Houston to be a great team next season, but they were in a lot of close games last season, so if they can find a way to win those close games, then maybe they can be in the conversation for making a bowl game. But I do think Texas State should definitely win this game because they have a lot more talent than Sam Houston, and I have Texas State winning this game and moving to 3-1 on the season. The next game for Texas State is on the road against Troy. Troy is coming off back-to-back -back conference championship wins, but next season could be a difficult season for this Troy team. They rank 129th in the country for return and production, and they lose a bunch of talent. They will also have a new head coach, and they lose their starting quarterback to graduation. They lose their starting running back to the NFL, and they lose their top receiver to the transfer portal. They also didn't make a big impact in the transfer portal or recruiting, and I'm pretty sure that Troy is going to take a pretty big step down next season. I like this Texas State team heading into 2024, and I think that they should have the talent advantage over Troy. So I have Texas State winning this game on the road and move it to 4-1 on the season. The next game for Texas State is at home against Arkansas State. Last season, Texas State lost to Arkansas State 77-31. Arkansas State wasn't even that good, but the defense for Texas State just completely collapsed in that game. But 2024 is a new season. Arkansas State should have a good offense next season. They return 82% of production, which is top 8 in the whole country. I think this will be a difficult game for Texas State, and I actually have Texas State dropping this game at home. And I have Texas State moving to 4-2 and two on the season. The next game for Texas State is on the road against Old Dominion. Old Dominion went 6-7 and seven last season and they were not a great team. I do not expect them to take a big step up in 2024, but on the bright side, they are top 6 in returning production on the offensive side. They lost some key defensive pieces like Lamarion James, but I do expect them to be okay next season and maybe win 6 or more games because the offensive talent should be decent. I think Texas State will get upset on the road in this game against a tough Old Dominion team. 
So I actually have Texas State moving to 4-3 and three on the season. The next game for Texas State will be at home against the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. I expect Louisiana to be a top contender for the Sun Belt Championship next season. Louisiana returns 73% of production, which is top 13 in the whole country. The only big piece that they really lost was Zeon Chris at quarterback who transferred to Houston. Louisiana only did win 6 games last season, but 5 of their 7 losses came by 1 possession and they were competitive with the best teams in the Sun Belt, and they should be better next season. I do like Louisiana heading into next season, and I could see Texas State or Louisiana winning this game. But I do think Texas State will bounce back from their last two losses, and I think they will win this game at home against Louisiana. So I have Texas State moving to 5-3 and three on the season. The next game for Texas State is on the road against UL Monroe. UL Monroe could very well go 0-12 next season, and I would not be surprised. And that's just how bad of a team they are. UL Monroe has hardly any talent on their team, and I expect them to be the worst team in the Sun Belt Conference next season. UL Monroe went 2-10 and last season, and I've continued to be a terrible team over the last couple of seasons. The Texas State should definitely win this game, so I definitely have Texas State moving to 6-3 and on this season. The next game for Texas State is at home against Southern Miss. Southern Miss went 3-9 and last season, but I think Southern Miss is a team to keep an eye on. They did a very good job in the transfer portal. They have a transfer portal class full of talented Power 5 playmakers with a lot to prove. Florida State quarterback Tate Rodmaker transferred to Southern Miss, and he could possibly elevate that offense. I do not think Southern Miss has enough talent to compete with the best teams in the Sun Belt, but they are definitely a sleeper team. But I do have Texas State winning this game at home and moving to 7-3 and on the season. But Southern Miss is definitely a team to keep an eye on. The next game for Texas State is at home against Georgia State. Georgia State has some question marks heading into next season. They lost head coach Sean Elliott. They also rank in the bottom four of the whole country for return in production. Luckily, they brought in some talent from the transfer portal, and Zach Gibson is a guy who has a lot of potential at the quarterback position. I don't expect Georgia State to be great. There will probably be another team fighting to make a bowl game, just like they were last season. And I think Texas State will win this game at home against Georgia State. So I definitely have Texas State moving to 8-3 and three on the season. And the last game of the season for Texas State will be on the road against South Alabama. South Alabama ranks 120th in the country for returning production. They did lose their head coach, but they did quickly promote Major Applewhite to be the next head coach. Gio Lopez could be a solid quarterback going forward for this team. He performed pretty well with limited reps last season. I expect South Alabama to be solid next season. And I actually do think Texas State will lose their last game of the season on the road against South Alabama. So I have Texas State finishing the season with a 5-3 conference record and an 8-4 overall record. I think Texas State will be a bit better next season. They picked up a perfect quarterback to carry that offense. And Jordan McLeod should definitely keep that offense playing at a high level. Their defense is a concern, but they returned 65% of the defensive production, which is top 42 in the country. So I expect the defense to be a bit better next season. Definitely with some of the defensive additions they added through the transfer portal. I definitely expect this team to be solid and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they won the Sun Belt Conference. But I do think 8-4 and four was a realistic prediction for Texas State in 2024. But you guys let me know how many games you think Texas State will win in 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for the video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload daily college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.